Let's take a look at how Fluid Mask handles fine mesh blending and use this for a quick overview of blending and brush functionality. Here's a bride that could do with a better background. The immediately obvious tricky area here is the semi-transparent patches of her veil. We'll come to that later. Looking at the rest of the image, Fluid Mask's default settings for edge finding and blending should be good to apply as they are for a large range of cutouts when you're dealing with mostly in-focus and solid edges. My edge finding width threshold over here on the right sets the number of pixels wide a transition has to be for Fluid Mask to define it as an edge. It's up a little here from the default 4 pixels at 7. If you make any changes in the edge finding panel, then you need to hit the apply button here to affect them, but this looks the right balance to me. I've left everything else, number of edges, and all my blending settings at their defaults. I'm now going to select the Delete Local Brush and just paint in segments that Fluid Mask has found for me as Delete. Notice how it's flood filling only the segments that I paint on. That's because I have the strength slider for this brush set all the way down to zero, containing the local spread. If we upped the brush strength, segments similar in color and texture that are local, so sharing a border with the segment I'm painting would also be filled, and the global brush would fill similar segments from anywhere in the image. But this brush and setting is working well here. Let's use the autofill feature to add our keep mask, with the default medium blend also being applied here, and then I've hit create cutout for our first pass. That's pretty good. Now we just need to deal with the transparent areas of the veil. I've selected the blend exact brush, and I'm just bringing down the mask opacity a little so I can better see my edges. And now I'm just painting over the area in the veil where there's some background showing through. It's important to remember here that you need to extend your blue blend all the way into both your keep and your delete masks so that Fluid Mask's algorithms give you a clean blend. I'm also painting back in a touch with my delete exact brush along the line of the veil so our blend doesn't bleed into the background. And let's just up the opacity. Tidy this up. Just missed a bit there. And let's create our cutout. There you go. Fluid Mask has handled that with ease.